It's Dr. Paul Offit, the director of the Vaccine Education Center at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Thanks for being us, being with us. You were part of that FDA advisory committee meeting last week that was looking into the safety of giving kids under 12 a COVID-19 vaccine. Ultimately, it was decided that it's not worth rushing studies in young kids to get them vaccinated faster, but you do have a warning this morning. Well, well, there, there is a, a, a very rare but probably real side effect of the mRNA vaccines um, called myocarditis, which is just uh, inflammation of the heart muscle. The, the good news is it's, it's rare. It's short lived. It doesn't appear to have any sort of permanent uh, uh, effects. And, and I think for, for parents or for, for, uh, for young people trying to decide whether to get this vaccine, the best way to think of, of it is this way. If you had a, a stadium of 100,000 people, all of whom were, say, boys or men between 16 and 35 years of age, and you vaccinated all of them with an mRNA vaccine, two would have this short-lived temporary inflammation of heart muscle. If you didn't vaccinate any of them, given current rates of, of infection, about 1,300 would get COVID. And remember, COVID itself, the natural infection itself, does cause inflammation of heart muscle, as does this so-called multi-system inflammatory disease. So again, vaccination is the safer choice here. A choice not to get a vaccine is not a risk-free choice. It's just a choice to take a different and more serious risk. Yeah, it's important to point out that there are risks on both sides sides of these decisions. We're two weeks out from those Memorial Day celebrations, which were sort of a test on community spread. What, if anything, are we learning as a result now that we're two weeks away? I think we're learning. What we're learning is that, that what I think we already know, which is that the, the SARS-CoV-2 virus is, is a winter virus. I mean, the, the, when you saw sort of a, an increase in cases following Thanksgiving or following Christmas, it's because it's a winter virus. I mean, we, we are mostly outside during the summer. I think what's going to happen is because we, we aren't quite there yet in terms of population immunity is when the winter comes, you're going to see a surge, which is I think it's why it's really important to have a vaccine for children before the winter hits. The Delta variant, a lot of people have been talking about that. It's doubled since last week here in the U.S. Cases are still relatively low, but the question is out there. How concerned should we be? Very concerned. I mean, that's what this virus does. It keeps mutating and becoming more contagious. As it gets more contagious, you need a higher percentage of the population to be vaccinated to stop spread, which is why it's so important now to get ourselves up to the highest level possible. I still think we need to vaccinate another 80 to 100 million people to get to the kind of levels of population immunity where we can feel more comfortable that we've sufficiently stopped the spread of this virus. And remember, it's still circulating in the world. Of the 195 countries out there, many haven't given a single dose of vaccine. So we need, we're going to need to have a highly immune population, I think, for years, if not longer. That's a lot of vaccines to still be putting into arms. Dr. Offit, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.